we want to find the Maclaurin series for f of x equals 5x squared times e to the power of negative 2x, which we're given can be written in this form here, and then find the first few coefficients, c sub one through c sub five. So first, because we're looking for the Maclaurin series, we know we're looking for the power series centered at c equals zero. One way to find the Maclaurin series would be to apply this formula here, where we'd have the summation from n equals zero to infinity of the nth derivative of f evaluated at zero, divided by n factorial times x to the nth, which in expanded form would look like this on the right. But to find higher order derivatives of our function f of x would be very time consuming. Notice how it would require both the product and chain rule. So instead of doing that, we'll take a different approach. We'll build the Maclaurin series for this function based upon the power series of a more basic function, e raised to the power of x. Most textbooks have a table of power series for elementary functions, similar to the one we see here. We'll be using this power series here to build our Maclaurin series. Notice how this power series is centered at x equals zero. So if we know e to the x is equal to this power series here, centered at x equals zero, we can think of the given function as a product where we have f of x equals five x squared times e raised to the power of negative two x. So we'll find the power series or Maclaurin series for e to the power of negative two x by substituting negative two x for x in this power series here and then because five x squared is a polynomial, we'll multiply five x squared by the new power series. So again, e raised to the power of negative two x would be equal to one plus, instead of x, we'd have negative two x plus we'd have negative two x squared divided by two factorial plus negative two x to the third divided by three factorial and so on, which using summation notation would be equal to the summation from n equals zero to infinity of, we'd have negative two x to the nth divided by n factorial. But let's write this as the summation from n equals zero to infinity of, let's factor out negative one to the nth, so we'll have negative one to the nth, and then we'd have two to the nth, and then we'd have two x to the nth, and still divided by n factorial. So if this is the Maclaurin series for e to the power of negative two x, then the Maclaurin series for five x squared times e to the power of negative two x would just be five x squared times this power series. which would be equal to five x squared times the summation from n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the nth times two x to the nth divided by n factorial. Let's go and change the form of this. We'll say our function f of x is equal to, let's write this as the summation from n equals zero to infinity of we have negative one to the nth. We'll bring in the factor of five. And then here we're bringing in two factors of x. So let's write this as two to the nth times, we'd have x to the nth times x squared, that would be x to the power of n plus two, all divided by n factorial. And now we'll start generating terms to find c sub one through c sub five. Notice c sub one, would be the coefficient of the degree one term, c sub two would be the coefficient of the degree two term, and so on. Let's go and do this on the next slide. So again, here's our Maclaurin series. So when n equals zero, we would have negative one to the zero, that's one, times five, times two to the zero, which is one, times x to the second. So we have five x to the second, divided by zero factorial, which is one. Notice when n is one, the term would be negative, so we'll have minus five times two times x to the third, divided by one factorial. 
Notice how this is a degree three term. When n is two, the term is positive, so we'd have plus five times two squared times x to the fourth divided by two factorial. When n is three, the term is negative, so we have minus five times two to the third times x to the fifth divided by three factorial and so on. Notice how this term is degree five, which will give us c sub five, so we can stop here. So we have five x squared divided by one, so five x squared minus, here we have 10 x to the third divided by one. Here we have five times four, that's 20, divided by two factorial, that's going to be 10, so we have plus 10 x to the fourth, and here we have five times eight, that's 40. 40 divided by three factorial would be 40 divided by six, which simplifies to 20 thirds. So we'd have minus 20 thirds, x to the fifth, and so on. So notice how the first term is degree two, which means c sub one would be zero, c sub two is five, c sub three is negative 10, c sub four is positive 10, and c sub five is negative 20 thirds. Now before we go, I'd like to compare the graph of f of x, which was equal to five x squared e to the power of negative two x, with the polynomial formed by using these first four terms of the Maclaurin series, which would be called the Maclaurin polynomial, which would be, let's call it p of x, equals five x squared minus 10 x cubed plus 10 x to the fourth minus 20 thirds x to the fifth. Remember the Maclaurin series was centered at x equals zero. So if we look at the graph of the two functions, the blue function is the original function, the red function is the Maclaurin polynomial, and notice around x equals zero, the Maclaurin polynomial is a good representation of the original function graphed in blue. I hope you found this helpful.